Hey everyone, this is Lynette Chandler from TechBaseMarketing.com. Hey, you know what? Uh, Google Docs has a very cool new feature here, which is a forms feature. And let me show you how it works. Basically, let's say you want to create a contact form, right? You know, one of the worst things I hate to do online is create a contact form. Yes, it's very, very easy to do. It's, you know, it's basic HTML but it's a pain. Making forms is a pain. So with this new feature, it really makes it very easy to create forms. So let's say I'm going to create a new uh, contact form. First thing I do is I do a create a spreadsheet. And then just for my purposes, I'm going to have header names here. I'm going to put a name and I'm going to put email address. And then I'm going to put a comment, okay, and that should be okay. Of course, you might have a much more complex and different contact form. And then I'm going to save it, and I'm going to just name it contact form. Alrighty, so now that I've saved it, the next thing I would do is I would go to share, click on share over here, and in this area, right here is where you find this new to fill out a form so I hit that button and then I click start editing your form now this pop-up comes up and say okay what title do you want it alright so maybe I don't want it to be contact form I want it to be contact us and then I can put in something in here and I believe you can put in HTML but I'm not sure so you guys try it out for yourself okay um, I can put in instructions here let's say um, contact us um, complete this form and we'll get right to it or something like that and then now you can change this you can edit this field and you say maybe you want them to put their full name so you enter full name and if you want some help text um, you know maybe if your form is complex and uh, it might not be apparent at first glance what you want people to fill in there so you want to fill in the put in a little help you know let me see your name and a little help tooltip is always good idea and then you can change the the format of the question you can have it paragraph so people have more space to enter their information you can put multiple choice where you enter all the different choices you can have check boxes so this or you can allow them to choose from a list of uh, items of course this is name so I want it to be text and I save it and same thing I want to do maybe I don't want to put email address I want to say your email address and I want to put the uh, make please double check this okay all right and this is a text so I'm going to save it as text and then in the comment area I'm going to say uh, tell us what uh, what's on your mind and then I'm going to change it into a paragraph text so you will have a lot more space to fill in and then I would go to the next step it says choose recipients which you don't have to I mean if you have a form that's private and you want only certain people to answer it by all means you know you can invite the people with um, from your contacts list um, and then Google Docs will send an email out to invite them to complete that otherwise you can just uncheck that uncheck this include form uh, an invitation email and all that and then it will give you a URL of a form or you can go and view the form live so and you know that's it there's no save button or anything you can either save this form uh, the the URL here copy link location or you can just close this window altogether close tabs and then when you refresh the share tab Let's see if we'll let me do it here. Oh yeah, I'm going back to share. And then look down on this side. It says go to live form. 
So you can click on that and grab the URL off there too. And of course you can always redirect. And this is what my form looks like. Of course, you know, when you do something with Google Docs, you will always have this little powered by Google Docs and links to their site and stuff like that. Um, it's a quick, easy, dirty way to get a contact form out, to get a form up on your website fast and easy. I mean, you can always put it in a frame, um, but naturally, if you want it to, um, you know, you don't want that powered by Google Docs and all that, and you want a good old-fashioned traditional form with your branding and everything, then you have to do it the old-fashioned way, unfortunately. But I thought this was, pre this was pretty cool and just wanted to share it with you guys. Hope you enjoyed this presentation and come visit me at techbasemarketing.com forward slash blog. Have a great day, folks.